Mukukai Pan! <laughs> you got your wide mouth and Winston showing his balls in the back of the yeah. can. Number one, those are strap arms. Wide mouth, smells, doesn't smell anything anymore. Ooh, yeah! So good, it's naughty. I will oh. say this, that almost is better than sex. If I've already been drinking, like I have been, that was amazing. All right, what's going on, guys and gals? And we are back for another fine edition of the Brew Review. You want to talk about dedication? I'm holding two beers in this hand and my phone light in the wow, other, so you people can yet. see. You people can see what the hell we're doing. You are not drunk yet. We're under the lights here in Carlisle, PA. So what we've got for you tonight is a double feature figuring a double feature featuring White Claw white Hard girl, Seltzer. White girl so drinks. We're back in the seltzers again. <laughs> what the hell? I'm I'm still a little skeptical about it. White, white skeptical. Drink. Skeptical. Skeptical. Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia. Okay, so getting back on point. So what we have tonight is raspberry flavor and natural lime flavor. And they're both at 5% content. Spike sparkling water with a hint of raspberry. And spike sparkling water with a hint of natural lime. And i got to try and rearrange things here. I, do, do you need me to help you there, son? No? Okay. And there you can read the nutrient facts of the one can. I assume the other is the same. And we got colored tabs. How oh, cool is that? Nice! So, there you go. That's about as good of a rotisserie as you're going to get with one hand. <laughs> That's what she said. White Claw, also known as White Bitch Beer. Um, 100 calories, yes. Crafted, it's a health beer. Crafted using our unique brew pure process. Only delivering the finest flavors to deliver a surge of pure refreshment. And a hard seltzer like no other White Claw hard seltzer. Made pure. So it's made pure. Remember that. Made pure. So you read the top of the can. You have 2 grams of carbs, 100 calories. Made pure. Made two grams pure. Of, uh, 2 grams of carbs. Yeah, we already know this. Gluten-free. It is gluten-free. So the white women like gluten-free shit. And mine says raspberry, obviously. Yep. Manufactured for... Naturally gluten-free. They gotta brag that. Manufactured for Mark Anthony Brands Incorporated DBA White Claw Seltzer Works, Chicago, Illinois. Chicago. 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 Please drink responsibly. Please recycle. Made pure. Two grams of carbs. Gluten-free. 100 calories. White women love this shit. So, as tradition, as usual, we're going to do the opening of the can test, the drink test, the draft test, all that good stuff. So, without further ado, we're both going to open a can. And we're going to do it... Simultaneously. It's gluten. Nice. Oh. I smell lime. I smell raspberry. Let's switch and find out. Okay. Do you smell the same thing? I don't Because we had this butte on the last one. Oh. Lime. I smell that. I smell... Yeah. <laughs> Someone's getting confused. I'm not drunk, Mom. I'm not. We're not that drunk. We're not that drunk. No, and now it's like old beer fest. Now I smell lime. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna drink uh, white bitch. I mean white claw lime. What are you drinking, dog? I'm gonna drink white claw hard seltzer raspberry. Ooh. Oh, hold on. I forgot to do this. Oh, jeez. Hold on. White Claw, ah. hard seltzer, raspberry. Let's try it. Ah! God damn. Flair burst. Tastes like really flat soda with fizz. The smell was better than the taste. <laughs> it, like... You can taste a little bit of raspberry, but it, it, no, it no. tastes like you drank some sort of raspberry juice and the cup was washed out. Yeah. Like, you know how you had the remnants of a juice in the bottom of your cup and you put tap water yes, in it and drink yeah, it? Yeah, like that's what it tastes like. like. You had a raspberry juice and then you had a little bit at the bottom and you decided, well, you know what? I'm going to use this cup again. You rinse it out and you decide, well, I'm not going to waste the water and you drink it. And I think it's thundering out. It might. So we'll trade. 
trade, and I've got the raspberry. I got the lime, so you didn't taste nothing out of it. I taste, there is a very hint of lime. All right, let me very put the light hint. on. No, I'm not going to blind ah! you this time. Ah! Okay, I'm going to blind myself, so. Ah! White Claw, hard seltzer, natural lime. Let's try it. Hangover. Hey, hangover. This is a hangover drink. Or a maintaining your buzz drink. Mm. Ooh, I smell one of them. I never thought I'd say this, and I'm not a fan of limes, but I like the lime better than the raspberry. I do too. And I'm I, not a fan of limes. I, I think we're in agreement with that. I do like the lime. Um, but you know what? White Claw, they were like one of the first seltzers, hard seltzers out. What the hell was the name of the one we just did like a few episodes back? Fizzy or? Fizzy. Busy. Busy. Busy, yeah. Busy. David Busy. remembers better than we do. They were better. Because he's think. not drunk. <laughs> they were honestly better. I, I would have to agree with that. So the, I'm, These I'm not a fan of. I wouldn't go out of my way for them. I'm going to say that right off the bat here. Uh, but, the bat you know what? They're, they're not terrible. Right, let me and the, bring the yeah, light. Go ahead and get your clear view there. <laughs> Very clear. There is a lot of carbonation, but no head. I think the head already went away. That's what she said. Not, not that we need it, but we, we've got to try it in the glass. Yeah, so we're going to glass this one and then do another pour. We're going to spin it. Slow down, asshole. Actually, they're they're towing a trailer. That's a traffic update here in Carlisle, PA. Truck towing, con towing a canoe. Around Phoenix Circle. On Spring Road. Do not speed on Spring Road. I know from experience. <laughs> The, no, the, no difference. The day our the day our Graham got buried, I got caught speeding here. And the day before she died, she told me to be good. I guarantee you, she was up there giving me hell. And the cop left Honest me go. Honest to Pete. The cop left me go. She so saw, last test. She saw you get pulled over. She's like, "Oh, come on, come on." My parents saw me pulled over when they drove by. That was the funny part. So you pulled over when you were bad by. You saw it too. Oh yeah. Everybody saw. I it. think even Ash said, "Like, was that Keith?" <laughs> Well, what's funny though is I was the speed limit down this road. If you guys don't know, is like 35. 35. I was going like 55 or 60, it, not even thinking it, about it. It's tough to go 35 down this road. So anyhow, I was going down the road like 55, and I even said to Tina, I said, "Shit, I better slow the hell down." I, I did. I've slowed down to 35, but when I know it, there was a Tahoe and distantly in my rearview mirror. And then, officer, and he wasn't really like, really on my ass or anything, but he was in my rearview, following me for a couple miles. I think he even passed this house. And I'm just kind of like monitoring it, you know. And then all of a sudden he pulls right up, hits the lights, and I pull over. Like, I didn't even say a word. I pulled over and she's like, why are you stopping? I said, oh, he got me. <laughs> Life. <laughs> and then I kind of explained the whole situation. She, he, he's like, sorry about your grandmother. Please slow down. And thank you, Graham. Yeah. I really did. I Gra said that. Gra Graham's like, honest oh, too. I told you to be good. I know that's what she said up there. But anyhow, back to the review. We oh, got the. Oh come on! So w was this the lime? This is the lime. So it yep. looks clear, like like it looks even clearer than Sprite. And yeah, going back to the uh, raspberry in the glass, I tasted no difference from glass to bottle or can. I didn't think so either, and I'm I'm gonna bet this is the same way. Probably. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Again, oh, you wow. don't really glass these type of beers. You don't really have uh, <coughs> <coughs> that was I a scream the, for help. I bet the whole neighborhood heard that one. You alright? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> he just let the devils out. I feel better. You beat the devil out of it. So, I'm not a fan of these, to be honest. They're drinkable, at least. They don't taste like styrofoam. What doesn't make sense to me is I don't really care for lime. But I like the lime better in this. Oh yeah, I that's what too. really confuses me. I like lime too. Um, but as but far you don't like it as a fruit. Well, I do. I, I do. don't. Yes, I love lime as a fruit. I'm not a fan of lime. Well, let me let me rephrase that. I like lime flavored, uh, much like coconut. I like lime flavored. He things. said nut. Yeah, I don't like limes themselves. I like the lime flavored thing. 
I like coconut flavored things, but I'm not gonna sit there and eat raw coconut. I'm not gonna sit there and eat raw limes. All right then. Uh, but I've had much better seltzers. That is for damn sure. So for these, I'm going to give them the most non-offensive rating I possibly can give. Three. They're in the middle. Okay, I, I, I could, you know... They're not the I worst I've ever had. They're also not the best I've ever had. But if I had to choose between the two, yes, lime. Well, number one, I'm not a fan of seltzer. So I kind of, I kind of expected not to like it. So... It's kind of an honest rating. Yeah. But, absolutely. I mean, it's for what it is, it, it, if I'm going to go, like, general rating, it's not bad. But for someone who doesn't care for seltzer, you know, I'm, I'm going to say, oh, I don't know. I like the lime better than the raspberry, mm -hmm. which surprised me. I'm going to say the lime is a 325 because it surprised me. Okay. 275 because it surprised me that I didn't like the raspberry. Oh, wow. Okay. So... Three two five two seven five. When I was at uh, Stan's Beverage today, Carlisle, but worth the drive, by the way. Uh, Especially if you're in California, they actually had a hard seltzer that was just like strictly a hard seltzer, no flavor, no nothing. It was just fucking carbonated water with alcohol in it. Now I will say this: like, it, if I was desperate to keep getting drunk and that was the only thing in my fridge, hell yeah, I'd drink it. <laughs> You'd have to get me piss ass drunk, and I wouldn't care though. But at the same time, you're not technically getting completely hammered because it's still water. Okay, here's a hypothetical thing. Say I have like a six pack of Golden Monkey or like a six pack of something good. All right. I'll drink that first, and then I'm gonna be plastered, and then I'll drink all the seltzer shit when I'm plastered because I don't care what the flavor is. And then try and figure out: Are you getting sober? Because you're drinking hard seltzer. Uh, my honest opinion, if there's alcohol content, you're probably maintaining. It's, it's possible, yeah, but you're also getting your fluids back. True. I don't know. We need you, to... you might get drunk, but not have as bad of a hangover. We need to start doing some uh, scientific experiments on this. <laughs> That's going to be the first scientific experiment we did since we went to school. fucking 25 years ago or whatever. Absolutely. We're, we're doing that shit. Why not? But... You said what? We hope you enjoyed tonight's uh, review of White Bitch. I mean, White Claw. Yeah, featuring raspberry and lime. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see you next time. And I hope you enjoyed Under the Lights here in Carlisle. We'll see.